Inside of the concentration camps established by the Third Reich, there was a huge amount of torture and execution carried out upon the prisoners. Inside of Auschwitz there was the Death Wall, a firing range where thousands of prisoners were executed upon, being forced to stand against a reinforced concrete wall. Also there was a block, Block 10, inside of Auschwitz, in which prisoners were subjected to the standing cells. These were Oubliette-style imprisonment chambers and cells, where there was hardly any room for inmates, and they would be locked in these for days on end. However, inside of Dachau concentration camp, the prisoners were subjected to other tortures and medical experiments too. For example, evil SS guards performed saltwater experiments, which subjected prisoners to such horror that they were seen trying to lick the freshly mopped floors to survive, as they were very dehydrated. But inside of Dachau concentration camp, there was a simple yet terrible method of torture used upon the prisoners that was aimed to drive them crazy and to break the will of the prisoners, so they would submit to anything and would work very hard. The aim was to break the inmates, and because of this the SS hoped that the prisoners would never rise up. However, what is this torture? Join us today as we look at the sonic torture of Dachau, and to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. When Dachau opened, a speech was made to the SS men who were working there. It summed up the attitude that the guards had towards the staff, and it was said, Comrades of the SS, you all know what the Führer has called us to do. We have not come here for human encounters with those pigs in there. We do not consider them human beings, as we are, but as second-class people. For years they have been able to continue their criminal existence, but now we are in power. If those pigs had come to power, they would cut off all our heads. Therefore we have no room for sentimentalism. If anyone here cannot bear to see the blood of comrades, he does not belong and had better leave. The more of these pig dogs we strike down, the fewer we need to feed. Over the years they would brutalise many different prisoners from day one. Inside the camp, many medical experiments took place, and the SS doctors would conduct many cruel experiments onto innocent people. There were different people from different countries who were in prison there, and the camp was originally designed to hold German and Austrian political prisoners, as well as Jews. There were thousands of members of the clergy who were also held at Dachau. Specifically, there were 19 female guards who served there until the camp was liberated, and most of the guards were men, and it seems that Dachau had a lower percentage of female guards compared to other sites such as Auschwitz and Sturthof. When the camp first opened, the commandant of Dachau, SS officer Theodor Eicher, tried with all means available to him to teach the prisoners nationalistic principles and to drive the internationalist ones out. Many prisoners were political prisoners at this time, and Ica restructured the camp to be more productive and profitable, and he made sure that the guards of the camp were brutal in their actions and violence towards the prisoners. They wanted Dachau to become an education centre, and they used horrific discipline to force prisoners to conform to what the Nazis wanted them to be. Ica also then used different methods inside the camp to make the lives of prisoners a misery, and he utilised modern technology, and specifically, he had a loudspeaker system introduced to the camp. To pay for this, the prisoners were forced to donate money and valuables towards this cause, but they were contributing to their own torture. It was said that the prisoners asked to be treated fairly if they donated the money, but the SS guards of course did not tolerate this. Loudspeakers were placed all over Dachau, and they were at times connected to radio stations. However, the speakers would then become a method of sonic torture inflicted upon the inmates. One prisoner said of this torture of Dachau that... When the first sounds came from the speakers, we were sure that the modest amount of rest and quiet normally brought by the evening was gone forever. After a few awkward crows, the beast began to play marches, the Italian fascist march and the Barnumweiler and march. This musical vomit lasted a little while, but then the noise machine began again. In the beginning the radio crackled uninterruptedly with noise. The number of records played was small, but the music had penetrating powers. As if from the halls of Valhalla, a Teutonic bard howled to your arms in a voice that sounded like it came from a wild animal. It continued, Deutschland, Erwacke aus deinem schwerem Traum, the song Germany Awake From Your Dreams. This treatment of national awakening through German song lasted well into the night. 
It concluded with the German national anthem and the horse vessel song. And so the great mother Germania sat invisibly by the beds of even her most depraved sons, singing them to sleep. The SS officers would play Nazi patriotic music through the speakers to demoralise the prisoners, and they also played Nazi marching music. The prisoners were to begin with allowed to listen to the radio, but this changed, and the loudspeaker system then became something which was used by the commandant of Dachau to scream, screech and launch tirades upon the prisoners. More speakers were installed in the camp, and prisoners were then forced to listen to Nazi music constantly throughout the day. One inmate said it went on constantly, to the point that the inmates did not even notice this. Further radio propaganda broadcasts were heard all around the camp, and this increased around holidays which the Nazis celebrated. During the election processes, the loudspeakers constantly screamed Nazi propaganda, which must have been hard for the prisoners, as they were at the end of the day prisoners of the Nazis, and they were often subject to political rants. Hitler's radio broadcasts were also played, and also Nazi speeches would be piped out to the camp. One prisoner said that, in the late afternoon and early evening, the musical Hors d'oeuvres were brought out. Parade marches and jingoistic music by Wagner, it was great difficulty that we digested the turgid speeches of the Führer. Some prisoners were even allowed to vote inside Dachau when they were held there, and they were then forced to vote for the Nazis over the loudspeaker system in the camp. But Dachau was seen as the first camp, and it was also a site where the Nazis tried to make prisoners go mad, and bombarding them with political speeches, Nazi music and ranting was a constant reminder of their plight. The radio broadcasts were often pumped out whilst prisoners had to stand at roll call, they then had to listen to them for hours. They were being constantly reminded that they were the enemies of the Nazis, that they were imprisoned at the hands of them. One inmate claimed that, for us the radio did not mean something like entertainment, but a new form of torment for our souls. We had to listen to the speeches of the Führer, and to him brutally insulting ourselves and our comrades. We were forced to listen to songs that just as much mocked our beliefs. During torture and also interrogations inside of Dachau, music was often used too. On Sunday mornings, prisoners were taken to a small house behind the guards' barracks and rooms. They were then beaten by clubs and weapons by the SS men, being battered on their limbs. But the prisoners were brutalised, and the music covered up the screams of the prisoners and what was truly happening. One specific guard, who was known as Ivan the Terrible, then following a torture session, lit a cigarette, and he began to dance to the music on the radio that was being sent through the speaker system. Dachau concentration camp earned a reputation for torture and brutality, and the prisoners were subjected to a harrowing amount of violent treatment at the hands of the guards. The loudspeakers ranting Nazi propaganda and music was something the prisoners were forced to live with, and it was a terrifying reminder of their fate. But inside of Dachau, as it was the first camp, many of the guards learned their cruelty within the walls, and they then went to other camps such as Auschwitz. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.